I wanted to rebuild a team in NCAA football, but I had no control over this roster. Instead, I DM'd college football players to build it from the ground up. As a smaller creator, for now, I was worried about a low response rate. And well, let's just say I was pleasantly surprised to see how it turned out. I saw Bordeaux do a similar video in the past and that inspired me to try it out for myself. So hats off to you for the inspiration. Taking control of coaching duties for the Eastern Michigan Eagles, I am determined to bring a championship to the gray turf. So what do I do first? I become the most unpopular coach in the nation. I cut everyone from the roster. Then to start filling out my roster spots as any coach would do next, I hop on Instagram and hit up stud players in their DMs. In these DMs, I ask each player to give me three players of their choice to add to the roster. And I would have no influence whatsoever on the players they chose. And after I was given a group of guys picked by the players, the NCAA granted me immunity in an under the table motion to give said players an offer they couldn't refuse. And well, that's how the team was formed. Let me introduce you to the team and massive shout out to the players that made it happen. The college football community is amazing. I went ahead and reached out to about 200 guys and these were the results. The first response I got back was from my guy Tyson Durant, a DB from Akron that recently transferred to the Washington State Cougars. I reached out to him asking for three players to add to my squad and he gave me himself, Travis Hunter, and Curtis Rourke. That's a great start. Thanks to Tyson, our team is underway and we have a few solid players to build around. Travis Hunter is gonna be a stud for us on both sides of the ball. And Curtis Work is an experienced quarterback from the Ohio Bobcats. And then on the defensive side of the house, we have Tyson Durant and Travis Hunter taking up our first couple DB spots. All right, next up, I was able to get a hold of Jamori Macklin, a stud receiver from North Texas. He finished with 11 touchdowns and over a thousand receiving yards on the season. He entered his name into the portal and got picked up by Kentucky. Jamori was able to come back to me with three superstars to stack this squad. Luther Burden being the first, Shador Sanders, and Caleb Downs. Absolutely love the picks from Jamori here. We got Shador Sanders, our new QB1, also gonna be able to hook it up with Luther Burden the third. And then we were given arguably one of the best defenders in the country who is a lock to go in the first round. The next player to get back to me was Kenny Soares, a young, impactful linebacker for Northwestern. For his three guys, he chose himself. AJ Henning and Anto Saka, a few teammates from Northwestern. Team is shaping up just a little bit more here. Kenny Soares at middle linebacker, Saka at right end. And then we got AJ Henning coming in as another receiver. And then you just know I had to get some K-State representation in here. Desmond Purnell, a linebacker. He got back to me and was excited to participate. He gave me VJ Payne, Austin Moore, and Uso, three K-State defenders. The K-Stater came up big for us, giving us three positions of need. Austin Moore at right outside linebacker, VJ Payne at free safety for now, and Uso plugging in as our strong defensive tackle. Go Cats. Next player to get back to me was Ryan McCulloch, a young outside linebacker for Cal. And like we've seen from others, he gave us a few of his teammates, Jay Ott, Fernando Mendoza, Craig Woodson. Jay Ott, a solid running back for Cal, now slots in at RB1. And then unfortunately, Fernando Mendoza, quarterback for Cal, he's a young guy. He's just not high enough overall in college football revamp to crack a spot here for our starting quarterback. And then on defense, Craig Woodson is that guy. So he's going to get that starting role and we're going to move Payne to corner. Okay, we got big Tyrese Knight, UTEP linebacker who played in the Reese's Senior Bowl and then also was invited to the NFL Combine. Man ran a 4.6340. He was kind enough during the middle of his combine grind to get back to us with three players for the squad. We got Tory Richardson, Kobe Hilton, and James Neal. Three more dudes to add to this defense. Now, as you can see, we're starting to fill positions and Tory Richardson is going to end up being just a depth corner. Kobe Hilton facing a similar predicament here in the safety depth chart. So he's just going to have to be a utility guy that can spell in here and there. Now, James Neal is a linebacker and we do need help at linebacker. So I'm going to move him to starting left outside linebacker. Next up, we got Terrence Ferguson, a big time tight end for the Oregon Ducks. He was able to hook me up with Ty Thompson, Arden Walker, and himself. Now adding a splash of Ducks players to to the roster, Terrence Ferguson, going to be slotting in as our tight end. Unfortunately, he wanted to be catching passes from Ty Thompson, but that's not going to happen with such a crowded quarterback room. Shadur's got himself a new weapon. And then on defense, Ferguson gave us a really solid left end that will slot in on the starting defensive line. Next up, we got Jake Cheney, a linebacker from Wisconsin. His three picks were Riley Mallman, Hunter Wohler, and Mike Jarvis. Jake Cheney gave us some big picks. And speaking of big players, Riley Mallman is a six foot eight offensive tackle. Love to see some people. Pieces come in for the offensive line. Hunter Wohler and Mike Jarvis are both 
dealing with a crowded defense. So we're just going to have to find where we can place him in the depth chart. Another player came through big with the picks. It's no limit Andy, a kicker for the Miami Hurricanes, first team ACC. And look who he just added to our squad himself as the kicker. Love to see it. And then Jacoby George and Ruben Bain. And there he is. Andy is going to be our kicker, punter, kickoff specialist. He's won the job. And then as you can see here, I think we're also thinking about just throwing Travis Hunter at punt return and kick return. Ruben Bain, a much welcomed addition to the squad at right end. He had seven and a half sacks and three forced fumbles in his freshman campaign. And then another receiver that can get out there and play, Jacoby George from Miami is going to be a good addition to the squad. It's just that the receiver room is getting crowded. And then you already know I had to get a Boise Stater on the list. Shout out to Jalen Clark for getting back to me here. He gave me Ashton Genty, Latrell Caples, and himself. I may be a little biased because I watched this man run when he was a freshman, but Ashton Genty is one of the best running backs in the country, and I'm excited to have him on the squad. It'll make for a nice one-two punch with the JJ combination, Genty and J. And then we were able to slot in Caples into our receiving core. And then Jalen Clark will be a nice addition to the DB room. We got some Michigan representation up in here, fresh off that natty, Zach Marshall, a tight end. And I like the way this man was thinking. He gave me Colston Loveland, a tight end, Zach Zinter, a stud offense alignment, Andrew Gentry, another great offense alignment, and then Makari Page. It seemed like he knew popular positions were going to be filled, so he gave me some great options at tight end, offensive line, and DB. All right, so check it out. Zach Marshall said, take Zach Zinter if it's last year, and Andrew Gentry if it's the current year. And since we are in desperate need of offensive line troops, I said, heck, let's take both. So Zach Zenner and Andrew Gentry are both on the line. We got Colston Loveland slotting in at tight end. He's going to be splitting some time with Terrence Ferguson. So that's going to be a great one-two punch as well. Uh, Makari Page, another solid safety, going to be slotted into the crowded backfield. I expected to see this with quarterbacks and some other positions, but it really surprised me to see the safeties and the quality of safeties we got. Will Shepard, a solid receiver from Vandy, is transferring to CU this year to play with Primetime, Shador, Hunter, all those guys. Shepard asked if he could include any three and if that includes included himself and I just said hey it's any three of your choosing my guy I got you so he gave me Luther Burden Shador Sanders Caleb Downs we have all three of those studs so I said heck I'm gonna put you in there as well after Will Shepard's recommendations the only thing that changed is himself being added to the receiver core Shepard's got a good overall and revamp so that's gonna help our team a lot last but not least we have Van Shield a running back from Colorado State he wanted to hook us up with Tony Horton Jack Howell and himself Van Shield our guy Van Shield gave us some nice picks to round out the team. According to College Football Revamped overalls, Torrey Horton is going to come in as our wide receiver one. And then Van Shield himself will be a nice piece to round out our running back carousel. And then he gave me Jack Howell. And have I mentioned that there were a lot of high overall safeties? Jack Howell's not only going to play as a depth safety, he's going to be a utility man for us. We got him at our second middle linebacker spot. His ratings transfer pretty well over there, according to Revamped. The squad is built. And guess what? There were three holes. So why don't I ask Eastern Michigan who they'd like to keep? Oh, wait. That's me. So I don't cut every single player on Eastern Michigan's roster. I decided to keep the left guard, center, and fullback. Those were the last three positions in need, so I guess I'll hold on to their scholarships. Here is a look at the starting offense. Here is a look at the starting defense. And of course, can't forget about special teams. Comment down below how you think the players did, but man, I'm impressed. We bumped up this Eastern Michigan squad to a 90 overall, 91 offense, and 88 defense. The roster is set and ready to go. Here is a glance at some of the key players. Got a little spring game in the book for the Eastern Michigan Eagles, and there's Ashton Genty getting the carry. Shador Sanders has so many weapons to choose from on this offense, and Luther Burden's going to be a big one. Defense is no pushover either, as Ruben Bain, Kenny Sohors get in there, drop Sanders for the sack. Shador only threw one interception in this spring game, and guess who? It was to Caleb Downs. I am so excited to give this squad a run, so thank you to all the players that made it happen. Let's go get a natty. Who's ready to see a ship brought back to the gray turf? Creighton, when he took over Eastern Michigan in 2013, came up with the idea for the gray turf in 2014 and it's all about toughness he said that emu football has the will to compete against anyone anytime and anywhere even in a parking lot of broken glass it's supposed to be a resemblance of toughness and their commitment despite any harsh conditions we get our first chance to play on the field nicknamed the factory as we begin our mac ascent a little bit of ground rules for this episode we can only play in the fourth quarter and then obviously we're trying to win the mac and get to a natty jumping into our first game against fcs east i am a little surprised it's only a 10 point margin right now but uh let's get some work in kenny soars i'm user in we'll make the tackle got jack howell out here playing linebacker traditionally a safety but we need to get him on the field third and three we're still bringing a blitz anyway 
and he's got a man across the middle that thankfully drops it. This is definitely a warm-up game against FCS East, but we're not going to get away with that every single time against harder opponents. And what a stop on fourth down. Howell and co bring him down. Offense does a wonderful job here. Shador hands it off to Ashton Genty on the first play of the game. Ashton Genty makes a move. You cannot bring him down. Who's gonna cash in for us? I'm gonna run a little play action, see if they bite on it. We see a guy sliding open. Luther Burden the third gets six. Gotta kick this extra point with our boy from Miami. Let's get in there with Kenny Soares. Oh, but the pressure gets to him anyway. Big sack for Ruben Bain. Looks like an option type formation here. They tried to pitch it out, but it was a fake. He's throwing off his back foot. Caleb Downs. Oh, man. Good deflection. We're going to get the ball back. Pound the rock a little bit more with Ashton Genty in this one up the middle. Dumping it off to Ferguson from Oregon. And uh, what in the world? I went backwards and then fumbled. It's cool. We'll shake that one off as we'll go across the middle to Loveland. He snags it. Let's run a read option, see what Shadur can do. Yeah, that one didn't open up, but it opened up for Genty. I see Travis Hunter clocking in at receiver over there. Maybe we can get him the ball after playing hard on defense. Let's see if he gets open on offense, and he does. Shador, oh, just missed him. Second and goal. Let's just keep the ground and pound going here. Ashton Genty cuts inside, and that was a nice move. Got our change of pace back. Ott from Cal in, and he's just going to finish this one off for us. Let's have a little fun, see if we can run a fake pat. Rourke, the backup quarterback. Ah, oh, just got dumped. Off to a tremendous start. Shador, the Eagles. What a game. Efficient stat line there. We're 1-0 on the young season, and we handled business like we should against an FCS team. Won't do this every time, but I just wanted to see the stat line for our inaugural game. Shador, we know he had a great game. Genty took care of business with a 5.6 yards per carry. Will Shepard, four snags for 82 yards. Loveland, four catches for a touchdown. Horton, four for 40. Genty also had 30 yards and a touchdown from the backfield. A few sacks in this one. One from Uso, Ruben Bain, and Arden Walker. Kenny Soares came away with a pick in this one. The warm-up was much needed because we're going to be tested in week two against Penn State. Check out the overalls, though. We have the slight edge. Let's go. I'm proud of these Eagles. Started the fourth quarter here. We're up by three. I think it was a good idea for us to warm up against an FCS opponent because now we're keeping it close with Penn State. All the Eagles need to do in this one is finish, but the Penn State Nittany Lions are driving down the field. Taking off. Howell's there to at least stop him. Eight yards. Oh, he's so open. Cephas, touchdown. Down by four now. I think I just got to be a good clock manager as we're going to go across the middle. Burden. I notice Ott's in right now at running back getting the majority of the snaps. So did something happen to Genty? That would be a devastating loss for the team. So we'll have to check in on that. Going to need our other guys here to step it up. And Travis Hunter across the middle making a play on offense and bouncing off a man. Yeah, that's right. I'm already chewing clock with still two minutes to go. I want to play it smart in this one. Not only is it about playing it smart, but I'm putting it all on the table as I want to win. And I could have scored and I honestly probably should have scored. Hey, it's the first time for Van Shield checking into the game. The Colorado State running back. No pressure on this play, man. Yes, six. You just gave us the go ahead score. Looks like the defense has been giving Drew Aller fits in this one. I just saw his stat line flash up. Only 130 passing yards, two ints. Wallace, you just sold. Taking control of Tyson Durant here. It's going across the middle. That's a massive play to Clifford, almost in field goal range. Didn't want that to happen, which was why I was trying so hard to chew the clock. Uso and Saka on the defensive line come up huge for the squad. That cost at Penn State their final timeout, and now they're forced to just chuck one up, and he's dropped again for the win. Big sack. Travis Hunter gets player of the game, making a couple snags on offense in two ints on defense. This is not a drill upset special Eastern Michigan's for real with this squad that the players built for me. What an absolute stud. Sokka with a game ending sack. He deserves a game ball. The offense did okay today, but man, huge shout out to the defense. They're the reason we won this game. Two picks for Hunter, a pick for Durant, pick for Jalen Clark. They stepped up. Next non-conference game against the Scarlet Knights. Riding high after that big victory. We can't overlook these guys. Who let the dogs out in this one? Oh my goodness. 42 to 3 going into the fourth quarter against Rutgers, man. It is a highlight reel out here for the guys. As Uso, a consistent force on our defensive line, just causes havoc. Oh yeah, that's a big pick. Come on, pick that. Oh man. Jalen, I know you got that one in IRL. It's just, uh, we're trying to be humble right now and, and not rub it in. Soars with the sack in partnership with Uso again. Good to see Genty healthy and back in the lineup. And uh, he just finds his balance and gets a nice first down. All right, since we're up by literally 39, I decided to give Curtis Rourke, our backup, some extra reps. 
And does anyone open? Well, I do find Loveland. Third and two. Let's make something happen across the middle to Ferguson. The Oregon Duck tight end gets us down to the goal line. Sending Horton in motion. He looks open across the slant and uh, touchdown. Too easy out here. Another dub in the books. The Eagles are up to 3-0. and Player of the game, Shador Sanders. Literally felt like everything was working in this game. Horton with a big 121 two-touchdown day. You know it's a good day when you even tack on a punt return touchdown from Travis Hunter. I better see the stands packed as Matt Conference play begins. It's about toughness. It's about commitment. We're committed to the mission. Travis Hunter, kick return. Let's see if we can spring one out. He's got some speed. He's got some wheels down the sideline. Good return. Up by a couple scores against Ball State. We're going to start off with a pitch to Genty. That went nowhere. Genty toting the rock big time in this one. 32 carries, 151 yards. He has been involved, to say the least. And we're going to go over the middle to Loveland. Great play. I get a sense that the squad the players built is going to be a little too overpowered for the Mac. If the 3-0 Cardinals can't stop us, who will? As we're going to find Torrey Horton, Colorado State Rams, nice stiff arm and touchdown. I knew we had a group of dogs out here on defense, but I'm even surprised, even still, with just the level of quality play they're given. I'm going to use your Travis Hunter, see if we can make a play. And uh, doesn't have to when the pressure is too good. Fourth and 18, last gasp, and uh, they throw up the white flag. Second and 10, no mercy. They all bit on the play action. We got a wide open Luther Burden. Some folks may be wondering why I'm still passing. Well, if we're going to win a natty, we got to build chemistry and we got to keep making plays. I mean, gosh, these guys just met three weeks ago. We got to give them a moment to get their bearings. And it feels to me like they're doing more than just getting their bearings. They're hitting their stride. Speaking of hitting our stride, let's see if Genty can hit his stride and get a little first down. We'll take the foot off the gas pedal and let Andy do his thing as he just comes in, nails another field goal for us. There we go. Big win against Ball State. Shador, player of the game once more. He has been just efficient at the helm for the Eagles. Snowy one in Buffalo, and uh, we're ready to get a dub, rain or shine. Where in the whiteout unis, the players have built an absolute unstoppable machine for a team. Second and five, up by quite a bit. We're just gonna hit our out route, Will Shepard. Second and 10, let's see what we can dial up. Let's just keep the pedal on the floor. Tory Horton, first down. Gotta keep feeding Genty. In Genty we trust. It's kind of scary, but uh, in a good way. Genty is going to be a Heisman candidate for real, for real. All right, let's just go for it all. We're going to throw the dagger on this one. And Will Shepard, what a play to come back to it. All right, Andy, it's snowing. I know it's not your typical Miami weather, but uh, it looks like you're unfazed. Decisive game in the snow. Ashton Genty was a machine. Man, there just hasn't been any game in question so far in the young season as we're taking on Army in this one and we're shutting them out. Run a little play action, going across our body. And that was crummy, a crummy pass picked off by crummy. That was Shitter's third pick of the game against Army. Second and three, halfback stretch, cutting it back inside though. And that's going to be a big run. Just continuing the ground and pound. And oh man, the Army guy just whiffed on him as Genty is down the sideline. We've ran like the last six plays. So I doubt Army sees this pass come in and we got a wide open Travis Hunter for six. Genty is the star of the show in this one. And uh, the Eastern Michigan Eagles are quickly up to 6-0. and oh, Who's going to stop us? Quick peek at the injury report. Torrey Horton has a broken finger. And in Uso, I've been wondering where that man's been at. He had a torn pectoral. And it looks like he should be able to come back now. Check out those defensive stats. We are number one across the board. Oh, sorry. That's two ones on pass. The Ohio Bobcats are actually giving us a tight game as we're only up by nine, which is a lot lower than before. And that's a big sack. Yes, you're seeing that right. That's Curtis Rourke at quarterback for the Bobcats. But uh, not our Curtis Rourke. That's a doppelganger. Big third and 12 here. He's going to go over to his receiver cross. I thought we might have had a defender in the vicinity. Good to have Uso back in the trenches. Now Austin Moore can get back to more of his dynamic linebacker role. Quick pass. And uh, wow, we let him slip through the cracks. He is wide open. What a diving play by Hendricks. Going up. Whoa, we couldn't have jumped for that one. First and 10, we're just going to hand it off to Genty, get some momentum, and that's a great way to do it as he just throws him to the side. Time to dial up a big play. We need the first down, and I see our tight end, Loveland. Let's hand it back off to Genty. They're committing hard up the middle, but Genty's just got a wide open lane. Can he go all the way? Wow, he got ran down. Dial up the slant. Will Shepard across, and we got him for six. Massive fourth down here. Just need to get the stop, and this game's over. He's going to his tight end. 
gets past Howell, gets down to the red zone. We're going to have to tighten up just a couple things here. And I thought we had a DB there, but first in gold Bobcats. Ohio doing the most right now, just trying to get six. And uh, I read that slip screen out like a book. And we're going to get the fourth down stop. There it is a closer game than I imagined. Ohio kept it close, but Shador, the Eagles, we did some work. AP poll finally starting to put some respect on our name. We are 22nd in the nation. And if we just keep doing this, we're going to be going a long way as Tyson Durant with a big pick. Not really sure what Labardi was thinking here as Durant and VJ Payne were both there ready to make a play. And that costly mistake for NIU is really the story of the game today. We're gonna cruise. But just because we can, let's just keep adding salt to the wound. Shepherd across the middle. Fourth and two, we ain't going nowhere. And I'm gonna go over the middle. Maybe we should have kicked the field goal. Doesn't really matter in this one as NIU's walking home defeated. We continued the undefeated run. On to Toledo. The campaign continues. Been an efficient game all around. Nothing too flashy, but efficient nonetheless. And uh, that was a terrible decision. I find myself getting a little bit more careless with the ball, so I'm going to need to sink back in as the season goes on to the playoffs. Third and 11. Just four minutes left in the fourth in this one. That's a slip screen if I've ever seen one, and I'm all over it. You're going nowhere, buddy. All right, we might have the two touchdown lead, but Shadur is pretty upset about that costly mistake he made throwing the pick, and he wants to redeem himself. So he'll find Ferguson, get a big play going. Heck, why not? Let's let the Heisman get a pass off out of his belt. Going deep to Burden. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised that worked. That was crazy. I didn't expect Genty to pull it out of his back pocket like that. Second and seven. I think over the middle looks wide open. Terrence Ferguson, you're in to the end zone. Go crazy, big man. 15th in the nation. We should just keep going up. Shador, player of the game. Genty also had a couple hundred total yards. So uh, all around, this team is clicking going into the late stage. The climb continues as we're now in the top 10 going up against Western Michigan. Have we ever seen this stadium this filled in this much of a ruckus? This is going to be a show in this one against the Broncos, and they got a lot to deal with. I just knew what we were going to steamroll through the MAC, but I didn't know it'd be this much of a steamroll. As Lachal Caples, what a grab. Haven't called Caples' name much in this episode, but uh, that's a big entrance. Rourke scrambling out to his side. I see George moving in the backfield, and... Uh, Underestimated that. Eh, who cares? We got the dub anyway. So Sanders and the Eagles keep their top 10 ride going. I sense danger for the 10-0 third-ranked Eastern Michigan Eagles, but uh, danger averted. We have had our moments dominating the opponent, but times like this have me a little scared, ain't gonna lie. Bowling Green Falcons dropping back on a big third down here, but they forgot Travis Hunter was out there guarding that man and... Uh, you ain't getting many balls past him. Play action on second down. We got a wide open man here. No one to guard Burden. I'm actually not going to be uber aggressive this time around. I'm just going to cash in with our kicker, Andy Money Man. Got us three more, and now we're up by two possessions. Now it is fourth and eight, so big stop here. Pretty much ends the game, in my opinion. And it's a QB keeper. I didn't see that coming, and that was a great play call. But uh, they're going to have to hurry up. Third down. Neil and Co. hold him just short. Fourth and one, could they possibly pull something like they pulled last time? And it's a handoff. I had an inkling, but they got it nonetheless. I'm not too worried because they're taking up a lot of clock just trying to do this, and so they're out of luck. Third and 15, he's got all day. Is someone going to spring open? This guy's coming back for it. Yeah, when you just have like... 30 seconds to throw a ball. It's, un it's unbelievable what you can do. And they still had offensive pass interference. You want a big defensive stop? Well, I got you because I'm coming in with the pressure. And uh, I guess I don't got you after all. This drive is just soaking up so much time that I don't think they'll have time for anything left. That is the biggest drop I've seen of this episode so far. It's another big fourth down. Will this time our team stand up to make a play? And I think so. Reuben Bain calls game for the Eagles. He says, let's go home and ends it with a sack. From 10-0 to 11-0, the Eagles keep their high-ranked seed and undefeated season alive. Little Michigan rivalry action, Eastern Michigan versus Central. I'm not sure how this rivalry went in the past, but what I can tell you is that this Eagles team is not like the past. My goodness, another close game here. We're only up by three but maybe it's just the rivalry thing. Ashton Genty has set 
a school record for rushing yards in a single season by any Eagles running back. Let's give it back to him, see what he can do on this counter play. It's important for us to not make mistakes. We got to come through and get a big play and Burden's gonna do just that. First and 10, I'm gonna throw it outside. It looks like Will Shepard's gonna be wide open. A little bit of snow ain't bothering us as we got a man across the middle. It's Shepard again, fighting his way in for a big touchdown, giving us some cushion. Shador with the frosty visor and some drip, scrambles to the side makes it happen. Defense has got to step it up here. Just about the two minute drill. Uh, we don't want to let anything funny happen. And Clark, yes, sir. Making a play. Jalen Clark got a foot down indeed. Ask and you shall receive. We wanted defense. We got it. Third and 15. What is it going to be? I had a couple guys. I was looking a little too long. A 66 yard field goal in the snow. No shame in trying and uh, nothing held against you if you can't get it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Really hope that doesn't come back to bite me as Central Michigan somehow, some way is driving down the field. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna come back to bite me because Jalen Clark says, I got your back again. Make it two picks. Coming through big time in the snow. Eagles continue to roll. We're meeting up against the Buffalo Bulls for the second time this season. Only it's a much bigger stage for the MAC championship. Buffalo somehow pulling out a better passing offense than Shadur and our guys. Not much going for this high passing offense. I'm surprised that they can't muster anything up. Caleb Downs lowers the shoulder, gets that man down. Fourth down here. I can almost just put guarantee a pass uh, as they're in the empty. No one really getting open. He is forced to make a tough pass. First down, Genty, big time in the championship. Looking for a nice pickup. I am still pleasantly surprised with the production from the defense and offense has been pretty good. I think if the college football playoff committee needs to look at anything, just check out our defense this year. That should be what gets us into this championship game. But even looking at the bigger picture, the offense has been doing everything right. We've been efficient. We've been running it, passing it with ease. Second and three, doing our job, winding down the clock, and we're just going to keep moving forward. End it off again. What a pancake by Zach Zinter up there on the line. Offensive line doing their thing, holding up, letting Ott get another first down. This is the last play of the game. I just want some pride brownie points and I'm gonna go across my body to Burden. We got him. Really gotta fight for everything because this isn't the expanded playoffs and uh, we ain't guaranteed a spot. Champs at long last, the Eagles are bringing home a MAC championship. This is what we've been waiting for. And check that off our list of things to do. When I reached out to the players, man, they really came through, giving me all the pieces necessary to make a winning dynasty in just year one, 13 and 0. We got our sights set on something bigger than just the MAC championship. I think we should crack in to the playoffs committee. Bummer, Genty comes in fifth in Heisman voting. No freaking way. We're going to the national championship game and it's against my alma mater, K-State. This is what we have been waiting for. Pretty equal across the board here. Similar offense, pretty much similar defense, but we just got a couple points on that. We are gonna have our hands full with the Kansas State Wildcats who went undefeated on their season as well. We have a top-notch defense and really good offense, but uh, the Cats in the Big 12 look battle-tested for this moment. No injuries on our team's report. We're fresh, ready to go. This is it. We are playing in the national championship game. Man, oh man, this game is tight. We are down by a touchdown to Kansas State. I need someone to step up. I need someone to be a hero on this team. Looks like we've been picking on Will Howard for a couple ints and... Uh, there we go, defense, making a big play, stopping him for fourth down. This field goal is massive. It'll be the difference between one and two possessions, and he nails it. That's okay. Let's waste no time and get to work here pretty early. Desmond Purnell does us dirty. The man who gave us three players to choose for our very own team drops us for a big sack. Not cool, man. Not cool. But I'm going to go across the middle, get Luther Burden a 20 yard snag. Shador and the Eagles need to hurry it up. We're gonna go, we got a big open play here to Burden. First down, stop the clock. Third and 10, need someone to step up. We're gonna drop this one down to Shepard. He lowers his head, fights for that first down. First and 10, I think the middle looks open to me. Travis Hunter secures it. See a man across the middle, that's really dangerous though. Holy moly. Loveland, you're springing open. Michigan tight end down into the goal line. Back to another play action. I think it's gonna work. And I think I see Ferguson. Yes, sir. Big touchdown in the national championship. We are just down pending this extra point by three points. 
and uh, looking good. First and 10. I'm covering it. I'm there. Big strip sack fumble. Oh my goodness. Hal picks it up and we're going to score. That was Tyson Durant delivering the big sack and blow. Jack Howell picks it up and cashes in. That was a great defensive stand. Don't ever count us out because this game, like I said, was not over. And uh, we're playing some stellar defense. And this game was about to be a whole lot different there if Jackson held that one in. Second and 10. Play our zone, deliver a nice big hit on Senna there. This play I just called, it's a blitz. It's called Dog Gold. And Dog, it would be golden if we can get a big stand here and get the ball back on offense. He got the first down. It's going across the middle, and Brown, Jace Brown, was so open. With the clock getting the way it is, about 1 minute 30 seconds left, we either need to make the stop, or if they're going to score, we're going to have to have enough time. Eagles defense bracing here for this third down. What's it going to be? Howard scrambles out of that one somehow and finds a miraculous Phillip Brooks open. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. This looks like it's going to be nothing short of a dramatic ending and I hope it goes the Eagles way. It's not all lost yet, because on the bright side, I mean, we got 54 seconds. That's plenty of time, and we got three timeouts, so let's dial in here. Let's get Genty, the guy that just missed out on Heisman, more involved, and he's gonna shrug two guys aside. Good run. Did I just have a brain fart? Because look at the time. Why am I running the ball? Am I trying to sell? Horton, first down. Me getting cute, seeing Genty out there and handing it off to him. I, what am I thinking? But hey, we can go to Genty in this case because he's got a step on his man. We're going to call timeout. Second and one. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping this one off to Travis Hunter. He's got some space. Puts a spin move on. What a play. Just 15 seconds. I'm trying hard not to let the nerves get to me. But this is a big stage. And I mean big stage. To be honest, I don't know how many more shots or chances I'm going to take. Six seconds left. I don't even know if I try it. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this play call. Six seconds left. I want to hand it off. I just got to be ready to hit timeout. Yeah. Okay, that actually hurt us, made it harder. 52 yard field goal. I am actually shaking right now. Got a lot of leg, it's to the right. We lost. I sold so bad on that, and that literally just costed us the national championship. K-State, my alma mater, love to see that, but I'm like devastated because we had so much going in our favor. This squad was a squad indeed but the heartbreak hurts bad in this one, man. Andy, I'm sorry I did you dirty in this one. So uh, I know in real life you clutched that up. Hey, we had a fun run while we were at it, just fell short. Let's take a look at how some of the guys did during the season. Shador Sanders, 3,100, 31 touchdowns. Nice. Genty though, 1,800 plus rushing yards, 15 touchdowns. Need to see that in real life, my guy. Shepard, Horton, Burden all did their thing as receivers. And then on defense, Uso came through with nine sacks. Bain, another six. And let me just note, Bain with 25 TFLs. That's crazy. Four picks for Jalen Clark. Three picks for Travis Hunter. Three for Kenny Soares. Three for Craig Woodson. Two for Tyson Durant. Zinter winning an award, only giving up one sack. Gentry also only give up one sack. That's right, Genty finished as the number one rusher in all the nation. We got a few tackle leaders up there too. I guess it makes me feel a little better to see four first team All-Americans up here. And we had five second team All-Americans crack the list. Consider it plus two more with Gentry and Ruben Bain also cracking the freshman All-American list. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. And if you like what you saw, I highly recommend you subscribe to King Sponge because you're gonna get a whole lot more of this heat in the future. Soak it up and go check out one of these.